Hello everybody, my name is Panda, and in this video I will be showing you uh, some glitches that you can do in Minecraft 1.15.2. And just to let you know, this is Java Edition. So if you are on any other kind of, uh, any other platform such as Bedrock or PS4 or whatever, or your Nintendo Switch, I don't think any of these glitches will work for you, but you can still try them. So by the way, uh, I would assume a lot, a lot. Some of these glitches would get removed in the upcoming 1.16 update, uh, especially this glitch. I know this one's getting removed. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but let's start off with our first glitch, which is the uh, potion uh, uh, bottle glitch, glass bottle glitch. So it's basically where you can stack over 64 items in your hand. Uh, it doesn't actually like save when you put them in your inventory you can only only when you're holding them like this but I can quickly show you how to do it so you just want to have a norm normally by the way you cannot put more than one bottle in a brewing stand but it was found that you can shift click them in so I'm just uh, putting them in my inventory by right clicking and then uh, I am holding shift and then double clicking and you just keep on doing this oops just keep on doing this until you have, um, let's get a few more stacks, until you have uh, more than a stack right there. I'm just going to put a few more. So you want to have a stack and some. Right click on, or sorry, left click on this one. Left click on this one, then left click on that one, and boom, magic. And it will leave one bottle in there. But look at that, 73 bottles in my hand. Now if I try to put this in my inventory, it will put down 64 and then these bottles here. But it's just a cool visual glitch. And it was discovered um, by Raiseworks and uh, another one of those smart people. I'll put a video in the description of this video that um, you can stack up to over 2.1 billion or the, I think it's the, called the bit limit or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's Two point a little over two point one billion uh, bottles in your hand, but you have to have two people: one person refilling this, and the other person picking up the bottles. Um, go away. Uh, this next glitch I will show you is the uh, kind of the zero tick glitch, the force growing glitch. So basically, it's it's been in the game for a few, I think, a few years now. Um, but it, it is getting removed in 1.16. But basically, what it does is it makes uh, things grow really fast. So this sugar, crane, this sugar cane is growing really fast. Look at this. It's growing really fast. Like every two seconds. And I can show you. The random tick speed is now on three. And it's still... It's been on three and it's still growing really fast. And this is because the pistons are updating the block. Which is updating the age of the sugar cane. Um, and it, the, the sand block wants to fall in the, in this particular design. It's called the shaky sand design. Uh, there's also another one called zero tick, actually called zero tick design, but this is basically the same concept. And the sand block wants to fall, but it doesn't completely fall because the pistons are going too fast for it to fall. And, um, basically w w what's going on is the sugar cane, kind of it, it kind of forces the sugarcane to grow really fast cuz the sugarcane doesn't really know what to do. And as you can see, it's definitely glitching out there. So, this is not normal. I don't really know how to describe it, but from what I understand, uh in the new update, this is just what I think. They'll make it so that the growth data of the plant is not stored in the block and it's actually stored in the plant. So, when the block, even if this happens with the block, the plant will still uh, grow at its own speed, at the speed it should be growing at, if you're at the right um, uh, random tick speed, because um, it's the data, the growth data will be stored inside the plant and not the block that the plant is sitting on. But yes, this is very good for making farms. I have tons of these in my survival worlds. And yeah, these, these are very useful. Unfortunately, they are going away. I do want them to stay in the game, but they are going away. Uh, this next glitch is a rail duplicator. And as you can see, it's duplicating rails like crazy. And this is very simple. Uh, you may have seen some different ones with a coral. Look at that, 15 rails in just a couple seconds. With a uh, coral right here. 
I think it's called a dead fire coral fan or something. And I can actually look. Uh, fire, it's uh, this one. You put this thing like there or something, and it would duplicate the rail. But that does not work anymore. Uh, this one does. It, that, that was patched in 1.15.1. But this one does, so you just want to have two observers facing this way, the face is going out, the, the, the little the face of it or something is going out, and the rail is just sitting there. Pretty easy, you can easily copy this in just a matter of seconds. Then your piston, and put a block there, and the lever there, and when you want to turn it off, just flick the lever and uh, make, so, make it so that the piston is extended, but turn off the lever for it to duplicate, because I'm pretty sure the observer is just powering the piston and yeah you can just get tons of rails in just a few minutes entire double chest in like 20 minutes or something i don't know but it's crazy uh, so in case you want to build a massive rail project like you want to transport villagers thousands like tens of thousands of blocks this is the machine that you want to use so uh to get rails um i, I would assume this is going to get patched but if it doesn't uh then go ahead and keep duplicating your rails now this next one is pretty cool i did not know of this one until recently uh the it's a, it's a tripwire hook duplicator now you could just afk fish and get a few of these every hour um maybe like one or two every hour but or, or you could do this really fast and get a ton of tripwire hooks which are obviously very useful because you can use them for almost nothing uh but yes, they, they, I don't know why you need so many, but you can duplicate them. Just get a trap door like this and face it out so that this is a full block. It's not touching this block. Then go over three blocks here and then do another one on the fourth block. And so you want to have a three block gap in between where you can place three blocks. Um, and these are on the first and the fifth one. Next, get your tripwire hooks and shift click them on to these uh, trap doors, then get a piece of string in the middle. Now, you can probably tell that when the tripwire hook activates the trap door, it'll make the trap door go down. And that actually duplicates them. So I just step off, and now I have three tripwire hooks, and then I just, you only have to put one back on, and then I set on and off. Now I have five, and put another one on, and yeah, I have seven, and yeah, it's it's pretty good for duplicating them. I'm not sure why you would need to, because they're pretty easy to craft, and you can get them by AFK fishing, which is another glitch, but I, I have a video of how to do that on my channel, so go check that out. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Um, uh, but yeah, this this is if you, if you in case you need a ton of these for some reason, maybe there's a farm that requires them, a lot of them. Uh, I don't know of one, but in case you need them, go for it. Or if you just want to do a lot of traps, you're making a thing like a trap, then that that's cool. Um, next thing you will need, if I can spell it right, you will need a bone meal for this. So. Uh, when you let's say you want to build a sand duplicator or something like that, and you get your end portal, you beat the Ender Dragon stuff, you you do everything like that, and now you want to get some sand, like a ton of sand, um, and you need to break your end portal frames, or you can, or you just want to have broken end portal frames for no reason at all. Um, this is the trick for you. Uh, so basically when, what you want to do is go from this middle one, you're probably going to want to break that staircase that's in front of this, from this middle one, go one, two block down, this should be on the floor of your stronghold, and then one and two blocks over, and place, and then break the block there, and put a mycelium block there, because that's the only block that, uh, these mushrooms will grow on, and then get your bone meal, and bone meal that and it will break the end portal frame. As you can see, the end portal frame is broken. And you can do this in survival. You can do all of these in survival. Uh, as you can see, the end portal frame is broken. And this is a pretty cool glitch. Uh, I think it was in the game a long time ago, got patched, and now it's back in the game. So if you want to do that, that's cool. Go for it. 
Uh, I don't think it works with trees, though, so I don't think leaves will break it, but mushroom blocks do, and mushrooms are relatively easy to find. So the final glitch I'm going to show you is way up there at y equals 256. So I'm going to quickly cut to me going over there because it's going to take absolutely forever. So for this glitch, you will need to uh, basically be at y equals 256 and put some water at y equals 255 right here and get an elytra and equip that so now i have my elytra on and i'm gonna go uh in survival mode and i am just basically here i'll go in f3 i'm just gonna fly into the water and look at that i'm flying I'm, I'm just levitating upwards no rockets at all and you can see in my F3 menu, if you look at the coordinates, which are like the second chunk on the left hand of your screen, that's the first line, and you can see the middle number, which is my height in blocks, that's going up really fast, and I don't have any rockets in my inventory. Now, I'm just holding down space. That's all you need to do is hold down space. Now, this will use up Elytra durability, but not that much, and if you have a uh, um, I'm breaking on your Elytra, then you'll be fine. And I can just go back down, and look how far up I've gone. It's pretty crazy. And then even if you're going back down, I do believe that you can just hold space, and then I'm going back up again, if you look at my Y coordinate. So you can do this as long as you're flying. And I can just go down here. Whoa, I'm about to fall. I don't have any rockets. Nah, I can just hold space. And I think if you go a bit too far, actually, it does not. It does actually stop working, so that didn't work out as planned. But uh, it does um, it does work in survival mode. It works, in, and I think if you have like a cert, if you're looking at a certain angle, so if you see that little like green, blue, and red thing in the middle of my screen, and if you look at the numbers right above it right now, that 3.7, that's the angle where I'm looking at right now. And if you look at, I believe. Uh, what is it? I think it's 30, oh, it's, it's, no, it's 34 point, sorry, it's hard to do, 30 point, try, try to get 34.5, and once you, once you get that, then I do believe that you will not move at all, and you'll just stay in the air, you'll be floating, and you can kind of trick your friends with this, and yeah, it's a pretty cool bug, but it, takes a few minutes, if, especially in survival mode, to get up there, just to pillar up and build that platform. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for today. If you like these glitches, then uh, feel free to try them for yourself. Give this video a like, and yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope that you guys use these. Uh, this is just a kind of a compilation of all the glitches that I know. Um, except for the AFK fish farm, which you can look at the description of this video and see the um, video that I have, the tutorial to build one. And these are all very simple to build, and you can look up tutorials on how to build them. Uh, but without further ado, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, please, and goodbye.